Want to beat the toughest boss in Windcraft? Well, we're here to help you defeat Annihilation. First of all, why should you defeat this boss? Well, let's take a look at the rewards. The rewards vary from LE, items, ingredients, runes, shards, powders, a fire resistance trinket, and most importantly, a corrupted cache. A corrupted cache gives you one of five mythics exclusive to this boss fight, each with their own unique major ID or gimmick. Starting off, it's best to attempt this boss with a party. The boss is easier when fighting in a party and if someone were to die, there's still a chance for the party to win. We recommend that you have a party of at least 3 to 4 endgame players. Too few or too many will make this fight more challenging. And your party should have a healer, because it's gonna be too risky to tank. Keep in mind that the boss will scale in difficulty depending on the highest leveled player in the party and the amount of players in the party. To beat Annihilation, you and your party will need reliable builds to maximize survivability whilst also dealing enough damage to defeat the boss. So let's take a look at a couple of builds. For warriors, we recommend using an idle charge spam build. Just spam charge and eventually cycle with bash or war scream. As for archers, you can go with this epoch tier stack build. Just make sure to keep your arrow shield up for your survivability. For assassins, we recommend this Nirvana Acrobat build. You can use Pirouette and other Acrobat abilities to stay above the boss when fighting. For mages, use this Monster Riftbender build. With Ophanim orbs, you can just melee while healing occasionally. Lastly, for shamans, we recommend this Absolution build, both for healing and DPS. Just drop two totems and cycle Aura while meleeing. Considering that you can only try this boss once a week, a build won't be enough to help you in your battle. But don't worry, using only a few consumables, you and your party can have a much better chance to beat the boss. First of all, don't forget to bring regular potions with you. But other than that, here are some crafted consumables that are quite handy. For potions, we suggest using this mana region and spell damage potion. Another good potion is this overall damage buff potion. For scrolls, there's an overall elemental damage buff scroll. You can also never go wrong with a health bonus scroll. If you want some increased spell damage, you can use this scroll. Lastly, this powerful scroll boosts your raw melee and spell damage. Moving on to food, there's this one for spell damage. And this one to boost your elemental damages. If you need help finding where to get the ingredients, you can use the Windcraft item guide, which tells you which mob and where each ingredient can be found. It's finally time for the actual boss fight. Once you have your party ready, make your way to the Roots of Corruption for the countdown. You will have 30 minutes to complete the fight, so don't rush unnecessarily. As for Annihilation, it has a bunch of different attacks, so let's take a look at them. Firstly, it's important to focus on the boss, so you can predict the attacks and dodge them before it's too late. When you're close, Annihilation can smack you with its right hand, dealing quite a bit of damage. Annihilation can also hit you with its left hand for a large amount of damage. The boss can also smack you with both hands at the same time, dealing a massive amount of damage. Look out for when the boss is pointing its finger, because it can send three waves of five meteors crashing onto the arena. When Annihilation points its finger, it can also send down three large meteors aimed at the player, exploding into smaller meteors when crashing down. Annihilation also has a fire breath attack, which can be either close range, across the bridge, or long range if you're far away. When Annihilation summons a sigil between its horns, watch out because it strengthens all other abilities. Annihilation can also summon a red ring under your feet. Look out because after a short while, a flame beam will burst up, burning you. If you're flying above Annihilation, it can shout, knocking you back and draining your mana. Annihilation can also summon several minions. Not only can they attack like regular, but they can also give you negative healing efficiency. When Annihilation bows down and puts its arms to the side, it will spawn flying minions that will constantly fire beams. 
beams at you. Annihilation also has a spit attack, spitting out a flurry of meteors at you. When below 70% of its health, Annihilation can also raise its left hand with a sigil in its palm, summoning its strongest minions. There's several kinds of minions on the bridge, but look out for the infernal subjugates in the back of the arena as they heal the boss. Kill them quickly. Annihilation's ultimate attack is New Sun. When at half of its health and added as a move after, Annihilation will raise both of its arms and summoning a growing sun. Defeat it quickly, otherwise it will kill every player ending the fight once it reaches its full size. Be aware that two infernal subjugates also spawn on the sides of the arena, healing Annihilation. Now that we've gone through all the attacks, here are some tips for when you fight the boss. Play defensively. If you don't know what you're doing, play it safe. Dodge and heal up when you take damage, but keep track of that timer. Communicate with your team. When dealing with healers, new sun and every chaotic moment of this fight, communicate with your team so everyone is on the same page. And that's it. Good luck in your fight, subscroops.